England is as far north as parts of Canada, yet the climate of Canada is far colder than that of England. This is the work of the Gulf Stream, one of many ocean currents. The ocean is constantly moving. Near the poles, ocean water freezes and forms sea ice. Since the salt in the water is unable to freeze, it remains in the ocean, making the water saltier. This saltier water sinks to the bottom due to its density. Warmer surface water then moves in to take its place. This sets an ocean current in motion. The cold saline water will travel south until it reaches the equator and is warmed up. It will then move north to replace the salty water that is sunk, repeating the cycle. The Gulf Stream that warms Western Europe is just one segment of this cycle. Warm waters from the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea converge and make their way up the eastern seaboard of the United States before reaching Western Europe. The warm water warms the air above, which regulates the local climate. The Gulf Stream does not warm the northern part of the Canadian eastern seaboard because of the cold Labrador Current from the Arctic. It also doesn't do much for Eastern Europe, as it's too far inland. That is one of the reasons why Moscow is far colder than Copenhagen, despite their similar latitude. Areas affected by the stream tend to have warmer winters and cooler summers, which is the main reason why the temperature of Miami is relatively constant year-round. The Gulf Stream is also responsible for nor'easters, which batter the Atlantic coast of the United States and southern Canada. And until next time, thanks for watching.